Hi guys, after last week's video I still have one truffle left and we're going to use it to make a delicious Dover sole cauliflower and truffle dish. First I'm going to show you how to fillet a Dover sole and then we're going to stuff it with a farce made from mushroom and samphire. We're going to make a cauliflower cream, a delicious truffle sauce and then we're going to finish it off with some thinly sliced cauliflower and truffle. So, let's begin. First the truffle cream sauce. Cut 200 grams of shallots in half and remove the skin. Then chop them. Now heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and glaze the shallots together with 4 grams of salt. Once the shallots have softened, deglaze them with 50 grams of sherry and 50 grams of white wine. Let this reduce completely and then add 1 liter of vegetable broth, 700 grams of cream and 1 bay leaf. Now also grate 15 grams of truffle in the sauce. Here I use black summer truffle. This is the mildest truffle and it's also the cheapest. That's why you need that much. Let this reduce for around 40%. Then transfer it into a blender and blend it till smooth. Once smooth, pass it through a fine sieve and give it a taste for seasoning. Now for the cauliflower and garlic cream. First cut the top of a bulb of garlic and transfer it on some aluminium foil. Drizzle some oil on top and season with flaky salt. Then cover it up and toast it at 180 degrees celsius for around 1 hour. Meanwhile remove the green leaves from a cauliflower and cut the florets off the stem. I'm not using the stem today, but don't throw it away. It's delicious to roast it, cut it into a tatar, marinate it in sweet and sour and many other preparations. Then break the small florets and transfer 500 grams into a pan. Also add 300 grams of vegetable broth, 200 grams of cream and 4 grams of salt. Then cover the pan with some parchment paper and bring it to a simmer. Let it simmer till the liquid is reduced. Then transfer it into a blender. After remove the garlic from the foil and press the garlic out of the peel. Add the toasted garlic to the cauliflower and blend it till smooth. Then add a knife tip of scent and gum to prevent the cream from splitting. Blend the cream for another minute and then keep it in your fridge for later. Then the sole. Insert your finger underneath the gill between the meat and the skin and gently remove the skin from the head. Then hold it tight and pull the skin of the whole fish. Now do this as well on the other side. After, make an incision underneath the head and cut the fillet off by following the bones of the sole. Then turn it around and repeat the same process that we just did. Keep the bones for later to make a sauce or broth. Then transfer the fillets on a metal tray and keep them in your fridge for later. Now for the mushroom farce. First chop 400 grams of mushrooms into a fine tatar. Here I use a basic mushroom, but you can use any mushroom you like. Then cut a shallot in half, remove the skin and chop it. Then heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and pan fry the shallots and the chopped mushrooms. Add some salt for seasoning. Once the mushrooms start to color, add 200 grams of vegetable broth together with 20 grams of sherry vinegar and reduce this completely. Then transfer half into a blender and also add 30 grams of egg yolk and 40 grams of butter. Blend it till smooth. Once it's smooth, transfer it into a bowl and add the remaining fried mushrooms. Then chop 15 grams of samphire and also add it. Mix it well. Now transfer it into a piping bag and let it set in your fridge. After that take the sole fillets and season them with salt. Then pipe a thick line on the fillets. Roll them up and then keep them in your fridge. Now for the garnish you only need two things. First slice some cauliflower on a mandolin in thin slices. Do this as well with the remaining black truffle. Then we can start to finish the dish. Drizzle some oil on the sole and spread it using a brush. Now season with some flaky salt. Then pipe a thick line of the farce on top and cook them at 130 degrees celsius for around 15 minutes. Meanwhile use the cauliflower cream to make a circle on the plate. Then fill the circle with the hot truffle sauce. Now place the Dover sole in the middle and pipe some cauliflower cream on top. Then decorate the top with the thinly sliced cauliflower, the truffle, a couple dots of the cauliflower cream and some samphire tips. 
Okay guys, that's it for today. I'm super happy with the dish. It looks very tasty. It maybe it needs a little bit of color. I don't think so. I was thinking about adding a couple drops of herb oil or samphire oil, but nowadays there is herb oil on every dish. So I thought, okay, let's not do that. And then I was thinking about adding a couple drops of a truffle coulis, but I don't have any more truffle. So super happy anyway. And let's just dig in, especially the sole. I think the cuisine is very nice in combination with the sauce. That's just going to be very, very tasty. Mm. That is super delicious. The truffle, or truffle and cauliflower, that's just a match made in heaven. And the, like I said, the cuisine of the, the Dover sole is really nice. The samphire within the farce is also a great combination to lift up the flavor without adding too much um, flaky salt. So overall, really, really nice. Even Charlie, he came to taste. Charlie loves truffle. We trained Charlie to be a truffle dog, so he loves truffle. Um, yeah, like I said, super happy with the result. I hope you guys also liked the video. So please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you want to see more great content like this or amazing recipes. And as always, bon appetit.